Hey there, happy Monday. I hope you're having a great day so far. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Kathleen Borsch and I am the owner and the maker of the products that you find at knotsofgrace.com. And what I do here on Monday mornings is I bring a little inspiration for us to share and as a way for us to kickstart our week on a positive note. All right, so let's jump into today's. For those of you who are following along in your own devotional, please go to July 21st. And this week's theme is when mountains move. The Bible verse is 1 Chronicles 520 and it says, he granted their request because they trusted in him. Are you a woman who confidently asks God to move mountains or do you timidly ask him to push around a few molehills? God is perfectly capable of moving either molehills or mountains. So it's up to you to decide whether you want his help to on big projects or just the small ones. God has promised that when you ask for his help, he will not withhold it. So ask, ask him to meet the needs of your day. Ask him for wisdom. Ask him to lead you, to protect you, and to correct you. And don't hesitate to ask him to do the big things in your life and in the lives of your loved ones. God stands at the doors. God stands at the door and waits. When you knock on his door, he answers. Your task, of course, is to seek his guidance prayerfully, confidently, and often. This week's quote is from yeah. Catherine Marshall, and she said, God uses our most stumbling, faltering faith steps as the open door to his doing for us more than we ask or think. So on that note, I hope you sit and think about this. I really like this one. Are you asking him to help you move mountains or molehills? And both are fine. But which ones are you asking for his help? And of course, I always love anything that talks about knocking on the door and him being on the other side. And all he's doing is waiting for us to knock and go through that door. Speaking of which, you see the door rosary behind me. It's another one of our, um, from the same you know, family that I showed you last week. Um, and these are some of the best sellers that we have going right now. And I never know why. I'm just grateful that people are putting these in their homes and enjoying them and bringing Christ, you know, a little more into their lives, which is what they're all about. So this again is a St. Benedict crucifix, a very sturdy metal cross. And it's on um, this midnight blue it almost looks black but it is midnight navy blue cord and with the um, coordinating um, natural wood beads that go along with it this one's just stunning anyway wanted to share that with you and then also if you didn't know with each of the door rosaries you get this, it comes with this little, comes on this little thing, and inside of it is a blessing for your home. And then there's also, there's two different blessings inside of this that you can say when you hang it on your door, or if you choose to hang it anywhere else in your home. All right, I hope you have a wonderful week. Please know how grateful I am that you've joined me today, and I can't wait to see you again next Monday. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, I invite you to do that. That way you get notified when it pops up. And if you want this in your inbox every single Monday morning at 7 a.m. Eastern, subscribe to our email list, our Inner Circle of Grace email list. And not only will you get this in your inbox every single Monday, you also get your round discounts and other perks too. So the link is in the bio for that. Subscribe is probably somewhere close to wherever you're watching this. And we'll see you again next Monday right here. Mother Mary, pray for us. Take care.